Hey everyone, it's Rich from Pick Nature, and in this video I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to insert headers and footers to your website and then unload them on the pages where you don't want it. Because if you remember a while back I made a video about how you can make full screen scrolling websites with Elementor. If you want to check it out, you can do that. Um, and the thing is we, we were using a JavaScript library which we inserted into our website using this plugin, insert headers and footers. However, the problem was that we were inserting the script on every single one of our pages, even though we only needed it for one page or a number of pages. And that's of course really bad for your loading speed because you are loading a bunch of JavaScript libraries, which you don't need, right? And that's going to add to your loading time, right? So what you want to do is you only want to lo uh, load the JavaScript library on the page where you're actually using it, right? And this is this happens really often. So for example, here we are using this little can I use our JavaScript library, which basically just allows you to embed these nice little can I use boxes. And um, so yeah, for all, all of these situations where you are like loading some kind of script somewhere, uh, which you only need on a specific page or you, which you don't need on some pages, then you can use this method to unload it, right? However, there's just a little bit of a problem with this method, which is that you cannot insert different scripts on different pages. So for this, you would need another method. If you want to know about that, you can let me know. I might make a video about that. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to do this because it's the easiest way, right? So. Um, what we are using is this Insert Headers and Footers plugin by WP Beginner. This is my personal favorite plugin for this purpose because all the other plugins out there, they have like a bunch of premium features, which, and they always ask you to like pay $10 per month, which is just ridiculous for a simple plugin like this. We sh you shouldn't have any premium features, right? And this is why I like this plugin. It's just simply does its job and nothing else, right? And in fact, the plugin author has added some Boolean filters. Um, now, a fi what a filter is, I will explain later. But for now, let's look at these filters. So we, we have one filter, which disables all of these scripts that are being loaded here. And we have a filter, which disables only the header or footer scripts, respectively. So let's assume we want to disable all scripts for a specific page and enable it on all other pages, right? Um, in order to do that, we have to go to our themes functions PHP. Now, you could either go to FTP and access your functions PHP like that, but the easier way is to just go to appearance and go to the theme editor, right? So once you're here, you want to make sure that you have selected your active theme. If you don't know how to do that, just go to your theme window and here you will see the active theme is Hello Elementor. And so I selected that here, and now I want to go to the functions PHP. Right. So in this file, we have a bunch of our theme functions. However, we don't care about those at all. So you can just ignore them. And we just want to add some code at the bottom. Right. So the first thing we want to do is add a filter. And this is a WordPress function which uses uh, which uses at least two arguments. And uh, basically what a filter is, it's a way for plugins uh, to change content around without creating conflicts in the code. Because you can imagine if you have a bunch of plugins doing something, uh, you don't want them to interfere or whatever. And basically a filter just sits, sits in front of your database and allows you to change the content you're pulling out, right? Um, so Specifically, in this case, the filter that we want to use, which is also the first argument, is disable I have, right? So this is just this filter right here, right? And um, the second argument of this is a callback fun function. So um, you can call this function anything that you want. I'm going to call it disable I have on edges. Don't forget the semicolon. And now let's declare our function with the same name, of course. All right, so what's going to happen here is it's going to add this filter, disable I have, and it's going to look at this function 
for determining basically what to do with it, right? Um, so for this function, we don't need to pass any anything. So we can just go ahead and uh, open it. And so for testing purposes, what you could do right now is you can return this as true and uh, let's update it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add the filter, disable I have, it's gonna look at this function. This function simply returns as true. So it's basically just gonna return this filter as true, right? And the result is that our scripts are not being loaded anymore because we've enabled the filter which disabled the scripts that are being loaded, right? So um, as you can see here, we are supposed to load something can I use? So let's just go ahead and search for that. Can I use? And you can see he doesn't find anything. Now, what if I return this as false, which basically means uh, look, at, look at this filter, then look at this function. This function returns as false. So the filter is false. So nothing's going to really happen. The scripts are going to be loaded as usual, right? So let's see if this actually happens. So if we use, look for can I use, there it is. So it's working as intended. Now, what we actually wanted to do, however, if you remember is we wanted to enable our script on a certain page and disable it on all other pages. Maybe I said it the other way around, but we're gonna do both ways anyway. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. So how do we do that? Um, well, we're just gonna say if, and there's a WordPress function called is page. And what this takes is a page ID. How do we find out the page ID? Well, simple, just go on your page, go to edit page, and there you will see the ID in your URL bar, right? So is, if it's this page, um, we're gonna open the function, and what is it gonna do? Well, it's simply gonna return going to return as false for this page because remember we said we want to enable it on a specific page and disable it on all other pages um, so now it's going to uh, it's going to be false for this page and for all other pages of course it will be true so just quickly recap um, what's going to happen in this function is it's going to look um, so if the page is has the ID 983, this filter is gonna return as false. And for all other pages, this filter is gonna return as true, which will disable the scripts that we are loading, right? Let's see if that's actually what, what's gonna happen. So if we look at this about us page, this is the page where we left it on. So if we search for can I use, you can see it's right there. So let's go to some other page again let's look look for can i use and it's not finding it so it's working as intended now what if you don't have just one page where you want to load it but you have a bunch of pages right nothing is more simple than that because this this wordpress function is page also accepts an array right so we can just say array what was the id yeah array 983 and we can just you maybe also put this page in there so that's 935 and now we have an array of two numbers which are going to be checked um for and which the filter is going to be returned as false for right so if we update that we should now see that this page also loads the javascript library can i use as you can see right there it is there um, the other page that we used was the About Us page. So can I use, it's right there. And just to confirm, let's look at some page where it should be disabled now. And as you can see, it doesn't find any can I use. So working as intended right there. Now, one final thing, um, of course, if you wanna do it the other way around, meaning that you want to disable the scripts that you're loading on a certain page, but enable it on all other pages, uh, that what you wanna do simply is switch around these two values, true and false. Now, if you look at it, 
what's going to happen is it's going to check for the pages, uh, in this case, for example, 983, going to return the value as true for this page, which means it's going to disable your headers and footers. And for all other pages, it's going to return as false, which means it's going to enable your headers and footers. So um, I'm not going to go and check this. I I'm sure you guys trust me with this one. That's going to work. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, if you know how to do this, then you've just learned a new skill, which allows you to basically speed up the speed of all websites where you're using libraries, right? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I will see you next time.